The working ranch is where it all began. And this week we head to Ranchland's Chico Basin Ranch to take a look at the culture of branding, where guests can take part. Branding is one of the first things that we do during the year. It marks the beginning of, of the season, so to speak. And it's a really exciting time for people because we all get together. And sometimes we do it with neighbors, sometimes we do it alone. But it's always an opportunity to get out and see the cattle as a group for the first time and see the, the calves, which are the product of everything we've been doing. And a typical branding day starts off. Uh, the crew meets at corrals, rides out to the actual pasture we're going to gather. Then you spread out in all directions like a big net closing in on one small area, typically around a water tank or in a corner of a fence somewhere where you can hold the cattle up without too many people. Uh, cattle will, will typically gather to water uh, and once they're there they're pretty easy to keep around the area. Once we have them all gathered up, we let them, let them sit tight, hold steady for, for about 30 minutes, let them pair up a bit, and it just calms them down. Makes it, makes it easier for us, it makes it less stressful for them. If they're, they're calm herd, the mothers will lay down, the cows will be nursing. Uh, it's really quiet, it's peaceful for them. In the meantime, we're getting everything ready, starting the fire for our branding irons, heating up the irons, filling up the vaccine gun, sharpening knives, uh, things like that. And then you send in your ropers, and the way that we rope is a catch as catch can, really. One back foot, two back feet, head. Head is ideal for this kind of roping because they're in a big area. I and mean, you don't want to miss too often because the calves can get stirred up after too many misses. Everybody see how the cattle are really settled, settled down? And so when we go in and rope, we're, we want to pick calves off from the edge. We don't want to go into the herd and disturb them. We want to work from the bottom up so the whole herd doesn't end up down at the bottom and us have to drag calves up the hill. Well, whenever you care about something, uh, it becomes something you're proud of and something that you want to teach other people. And branding cattle is a process that all ranchers are proud of, you know, putting their brand on an animal that they make a living producing. So I'm, I'm teaching people about something that those who are no longer here really care about, and that's pretty special. But you want it right, uh, the top bar goes right up against the back bar. Okay. The cattle are our way of life. Without them, we, would, we wouldn't have existence here. They are our business. So naturally, you look after them, and they are living creatures, and, and they have a lot of character. We don't go out of our way to hurt them, we go out of our way to make things as easy and unstressful as possible. Your main thing is that your weight is back. Not, not down on the calf, but holding them back like that. That's how you're going to hold the big ones down. Tradition of branding, it's something that's been done as long as people have raised cattle. It's a way to identify cattle. It's a very necessary thing. And, always has been and, and uh, still is today. It's a fun time of year. A lot of people enjoy doing it. Um, it's a very social time. Typically you get neighbors to come help you and people coming out from the city who want to see something. It's very cowboy. It's very unique to the American cowboy and uh, our heritage. So a lot, of, a lot of visitors always want to come out and take photos or even just watch or experience. Maybe get in and throw a calf or maybe get run over if they're lucky. Awesome. Team flanking awesome. Ah. Flanking awesome. <laughs> hey Charlotte. Did you have a good day today? Yeah, we had a very good day. It's something that can't be described in words that has to do with carrying on uh, ways that were started many, many generations ago by, by your forefathers, and that's an important part of why we do what we do. 
For more information, visit ranchlands.com. I'm Jody Dahl, and we'll see you at the next ranch. So the main objective for our entire family operation is just to help the commercial rancher be profitable and to raise the best cattle that he can raise. We bring a lot of uh, free pounds to the table for those ranchers. If they switch to ours, they'll easily get another 50 pounds at weaning per calf and sometimes even upwards of 70 or 80 or 90 pounds. We're insistent that the structure is correct on the animals. And then in that sleek looking package, we want to put just as much meat and performance in that animal as possible. We've done the best we can to make a bull package that can help that rancher succeed.